In the meantime, millions of Americans are being threatened by a massive storm system this morning that is slowly moving east. Dylan is in for Al. So, Dylan, what are we talking about here? What are we looking at? The severe weather started last night, and it is going to become a really bad outbreak as we go through the day today, mostly for straight line wind damage. Wind gusts in excess of 70 miles per hour. That causes a lot of damage. Here's our setup. We have warm, moist air coming in from the south. Temperatures running in the mid-80s. You have cool, dry air back behind this front. Temperatures are only in the 50s and 60s. So it's that clash of air masses that will cause this severe weather to break out. We've already seen it back through Dallas. We had some tornado warnings in the Dallas area overnight. Now you can see still some pockets of heavier rain, but the really defined line itself going through Texarkana and up in the parts of the Midwest, that's where we're starting to see most of our torrential downpours and our damaging wind gusts. This red box right in through here, that's our tornado watch. It includes Shreveport, Louisiana. In these yellow boxes here, that's where we have severe thunderstorm warnings, and that's going to be the setup as we go through the day today. This area in red will see strong storms, but we're looking at our best chance of wind gusts in excess of 80 miles per hour and also perhaps hail as large as two inches in diameter possible with some of these storms. So we have to watch it today, but it's going to continue into tomorrow, too. All right. Dylan, thank you very much. We're talking about more violent storms set to impact tens of millions of people across the eastern half of this country after the deep south was slammed by storms on Monday. We got Al Roker and Dylan Dreyer covering this. Dylan's on the road in Atlanta. Dylan, good morning to you. Good morning, Matt. You know, it was already pouring by the time we arrived here at 5 o'clock. And then at 5.30 this morning, all hell broke loose. We saw winds really start gusting. Heavy rain was coming in sideways. We even lost our tent and our whole setup here for a little bit. This is the same line of storms that moved through yesterday in the south and produced an estimated 13 tornadoes and more than 200 reports of wind damage that destroyed homes and took at least two lives. Severe weather spread 800 miles across the south, bringing damaging winds, heavy rain, and possible tornadoes, and causing down power lines, leaving thousands without power. This time-lapse video showing the storms tearing through Arkansas. From Nashville, Tennessee, where Weather Channel's Dave Malkoff had a close call. That was right on top of me. To Dora, Alabama, where a 75-year-old woman died when a tree fell on her home. We lost a good lady in our community and in Ashdown, Arkansas. I was in a dead sleep, you know, and all of a sudden my husband shakes me and he said, baby, hit the floor. Destruction from a possible tornado with homes damaged and tractors overturned. We have things thrown everywhere. It gives us a good indication that this was a tornado that came through this area. A Marine and father of three died when his home was hit. And their mother is in uh, intensive care right now, but she's stable. And then the, the father didn't make it. In Texas and Louisiana, tens of thousands of people without power after possible tornadoes there. And this line of storms is now racing to the east, and with it, moving to the east, is that threat of severe weather. Now, it doesn't look like it's going to be as bad as yesterday, but, Al, we still have to be on alert, especially this afternoon, up into the Carolinas, where storms could get very strong. Absolutely right, Dylan. Thank you so much. 16 states, 45 million people under the gun for this storm, and, in fact, the risk of severe weather stretching from Roanoke all the way down to Daytona, as far west as Tallahassee and Atlanta in this as well. We're as we look at the live radar, you can see just how heavy the storms are. These areas shaded in red, that's where we have tornado watches into early afternoon hours. So we're going to continue to track this. We have flash flood warnings also starting to fire up throughout a good portion of the central plains on into the south. Rainfall amounts anywhere from one to two inches, but we could be locally looking at two to four from southwestern Virginia to Georgia, three to five inches in the panhandle. And also, Gonzalo, we've been watching this hurricane. It is ramping up. So far, tropical storm watches and warnings canceled for Puerto Rico. However, this storm is expected to become the strongest of the Atlantic hurricane season. 140 miles northeast of San Juan, 110 miles per hour, moving northwest at 13. And here's the big problem. If you are, or know anybody in or around Bermuda or you're planning a trip to Bermuda, this is bad news. Friday night, sometime late Friday, this will be a Category 2 storm making its way across Bermuda, which was already devastated by yeah. Fay last week, so this could be very bad news. And a little bit later on, we're going to tell you about another tropical storm that may be affecting Hawaii. So it's a very busy, busy time. Yeah. Oh, yeah.